Hello everyone, it's Siona from Honouring Emmy, back from the hairdresser, so I've got all pretty hair again. Um, finally over all the drama that's happened this morning and hopefully I can now show you how to make front post and back post stitches. Um, and I'll be doing it in the basket weave so you can see what that looks like. Um, so before we get started, I'll turn the camera around and just show you some of the effects you can get with back posts. I've been using it and front posts. I've been using it quite a bit lately in some of my pieces I've made. Um, and it's really not as difficult as it can seem when you're first starting out. Okay, so I'll turn it around. <coughs> Excuse me. So you can see this is a hat I did last weekend. Um, and it's got a row here of back post double crochet and what I like about the back post is it gives you that texture, uh, the ridge line, so it forces out the top of the double crochet stitch um, and makes a nice little ridge design in there. And then if you look at this green piece you might remember, this one was alternating between back and front post double crochet all throughout. And it ended up making a quite a textured piece, lovely blanket. And considering this was quite a fine piece of yarn, it's ended up as a reasonably dense blanket. And then the basket weave, this grubby pillow that I've got. So this is a basket weave and what I'll be showing you today. So as you can see, you've got the back post double crochet here and you've got the front post. So if you can tell, the front post you end up, I don't know if you've seen some pieces where you've got like a cord that runs through it, so that would be those ones there. And then the back posts are these where it shows you the top of the double crochet stitches. Okay, so let's get started. So what I've done is to do the basket weave, I'm going to do it in um, sets of eight. So four of each type. You can do it in any number as long as you keep it consistent. So this first one I've done, my intent is to do a normal double crochet on the end. So if you're using UK terms, you'll be wanting to talk trebles. So I'm going to keep the normal stitch at the ends and then I'm going to do the front and back posts. So I've already put one stitch in there. So normally when you do a double crochet, you're going to yarn over and you're going to insert into the top of the stitch there under the V's and then you're going to complete your stitch. Now, to keep it simple to remember, when you're doing a front post double crochet, the intent is to push the post to the front and when you're doing a back post double crochet, you're going to push the post to the back. So you work the stitch as normal, but instead of going into that V, you're going to work either in front of or or you're essentially working around the post. So I'll start with the front post, double crochet, so I'm going to yarn over and then your hook's going to go from the front, around the back and then to the front again. So you're pushing that front post out and then you're going to yarn over and pull that through behind the post so that you've got your three on your loop and then you're going to finish the double crochet or treble as you normally would. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, and you can see that that then makes the stitch stand out to the front. So again, and I find it easier instead of trying to, it gets a bit tricky figuring out where to put your hook. So I kind of just work around the middle of them. So again, we're going to go for the front post. We're going to go from the front to the back, back to the front. So you're pushing that post out, yarn over and pull that loop behind it and then yarn over pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then we've got two front posts. So again, yarn over, we're gonna go behind the post, yarn over, pull through, and do that. Okay, so now we've got three sticking out, and then yarn over, and we'll do that again. So it kind of works to sort of lay it down and then push that through. Okay, so we've done four front post double crochet. So now we want to do four back post double crochet. So for that one, we're going to work, so we yarn over to start with, and this time we're going to push the post to the back. So we've got to come in from behind, 
and go around in front of the post and then to the back. So you're kind of working behind. Then you're going to yarn over and pull that through. And then you've got your three on there. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And so in this one, so this is your front post pushing that up. And your back post, you're pushing essentially the stitch to the back and you're showing the tops of the Vs. So again, we yarn over. We're going to work, come in from the hook from the back to the front and then out back to the back. Yarn over, pull through and then finish your stitch. And you might want to just adjust it a bit, but you can see you end up with the Vs. So again, yarn over, let me just pull some more yarn. We're going to push that back, that post to the back and work around it. So you essentially come in like that through and there we go okay so I've done three so you got three behind there so we'll do one more so yarn over we're going to go from back to front to push the post backwards I think the biggest thing to remembering the stitch is where you're pushing the post to okay so now we've done four front post, we're done four back post, and now we want to do four front post again. So this one, yarn over, and again we go from the front, behind the post, to the front again, yarn over, and pull through. And that's that. So again, yarn over, going in from the front, to the back, to the front, pushing that post forward. And there you go, they stick out. So you can see comparison there. We want to do four of these. Again. And then another one. Okay, so now we've got four front posts, four back posts, four front posts. So we're going to finish the row with four back posts and then a normal double crochet. Okay, so yarn over. And again, so this time we need to push the post to the back. So we're going in from the back to the front, push that post back, and then you work sort of behind. There you go. Finish the stitch. So again, we work from the front, back to the front, push it behind. Now I find it kind of easier if you sort of Work it horizontally in almost. Once you get the swing of it, it's quite a quick and easy stitch to do as well. Again, go back, back. So the other thing to remember when you're doing a back post, because you want it to go, you want it to go backwards, but you also want to start from the back. So back. Push it through. There you go, so now we've got four at the front, four at the back, four at the front, four at the back, and I'm going to finish with the last one as a normal double crochet or treble if you like. And the reason I'm doing that is if I was making a cushion or something, then you've got that post on its own and it sort of gives it the straight edge. So I'm going to turn by chaining two and then start the next row. Thing. So now you can see we've got the start of the row, we've got the front post, back post, front post, back post. So I'm going to do a normal double crochet, so going working in the top of the Vs there. Okay, so now I'm going to do more front posts. So when you're making the basket weave, just think how big you want it to be. So if you're doing a blanket, you might want to make the basket wider, and if you're using a thicker yarn, totally up to you, but just keep them even numbers so you might want to do five or six I'm just working in fours and then you can do the number of rows based on how long you want the stitch as well okay so this one we're doing the front post so we're going to push it to the front so you start going in from the front so just think front everything's going to the from the front to the front okay and you can see that it ends up being like a cord on the front okay get a little tricky going 
figuring out where you are because it does make them seem a bit shorter. Okay, so yarn over, going from the front to the back. So we push it forward and we work our way into the stitch again. So I've done three. Now it looks quite long. Front, back to the front. Okay, so now I've got four. All right, so now for the back post, so we're going to start from the back, so we're doing back post and we're pushing that post backwards. Okay, so there's one, and you can see you've got that ridge. So you want to see the V's on this one, you want the post to go to the back. There we go, to the back again. Okay, so we've done three. Now you want to do the last one. There you go, so now we've got four front posts, four back posts. So you've got two lines of those V's now. And we're going to do more front posts. So you work from the front to the back to the front. So you're pushing that post to the front. Oops. And there's the stitch. And so you've got to work under where those two V's are normally. Okay, so that's two. Pushing to the front. Three. And one more. Okay. So now we've got two rows each and we've got four front four back, four front, so we're going to do four back. So this one you're working from the back around to push it backwards and you're kind of working. This one's probably the, the trickier one to get your hook through, but once you've practiced a bit it's not so bad. Okay, and then so we've got three, one more. go. So now I'm going to do a normal double crochet so find the end bit there. So that's the last back post so we'll work into that. Okay and we're going to chain two to turn. Okay so now to get the basket weave you've got to do opposite. So for this row so just start with a normal double crochet. Now, so we've done all two rows of front posts. So now I'm going to do, I would do two rows of back post, like the opposite. So now I'm going to work back post into this to make it the basket weave. So yarn over, come in from the back, push it backwards. Oh, oh oops, fell off. Okay. same. So around that post, pushing it to the back. Keep going. Around that post, push it to the back. Finish the stitch. And we've got one more to make it four. Okay. So now you can see we start to see the V's instead. Oops, did I go far? Did fall. Okay, so this one we're going to do front post. So we have to work from the front, push that post to the front, kind of work under it. So that's one, so you can see the difference. Two. Oh, getting stuck. Push that through. So if you wanted a longer basket weave, you could always do three rows. It's entirely up to you. If I was doing, like when I made that cushion, it's only a small cushion, so I kept the basket weave kind of small. Push it to the front. Okay, so now I've got the beginning of the next one. So there's my front post, there's my back post, there's my back post, there's my front post. So this one needs to be back post. So we work from the back 
to the front so that pushes it backwards and yeah so you can see when I'm pulling that through I'm keeping it so it's coming in front of the post my hook it keeps it pushed to the back hopefully you can see that I'm just facing the other one I'm doing back post I've got three of them Splitting it. Okay, and one more. Okay, so then if I was making a blanket as well, then that post on the end you've got to put your border in makes it easier, and you still keep all of your basket weave. What have I got there? Four. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then I'm going to do front post. So you run over, pushing into the front, working from the front. Here we go. One, two, three, where am I? Three, one more. Okay, so you can see the basket weave is starting to come in. And then I'll just Oh, dropping my stitch, sorry about that. Now work into the top, doing a normal double crochet or treble if you're UK. Okay, and then chain two, we turn. So I don't count that chain two. In most of my patterns I do the same, it keeps it a straighter edge. Not that you can tell right now, it looks a bit wonky. Okay, so normal double crochet or treble into that first stitch. Okay, so this one. The last row we've done two rows of front post, we've done one row of back post, so now we're going to do another row of back post. So we work from the back to the front, push those posts backwards. Okay, we've got four, five, six, Okay, so then we've got our basket weave, you can see. So this one, we're going to work front post, so we work from the front to push that. We'll go in behind the post. So basically you follow your hook the way it went in is the way it goes back out. Because that can, oops, front, front post. Push it back in behind. Oops, missed. And then front post. There we go. I'm getting a bit of a basket weave. How cool is that? So I finish this row off. So this one's back post. We start from the back, push to the back. You have a nice rhythm in your head thinking about it. It's really not that difficult to do. Once you figure out where your hook's going, I recommend starting on a reasonably thick yarn so you can see what you're doing. There we go. One more. Okay. This looks so cool. Now I want to make a blanket in this. This is going to cost me another new project. Front post. So we from the front. Push to the front. Okay, from the front. Push to the front. Okay, so you could do any size blanket. So if you wanted to do a blanket in this and you want to keep it to four by four, then your base chain would be multiples of eight. Then I would add two if you're going to put a normal double crochet on the end, so add two for that, and then I would add another two for your first turning chain. And you can just make it up as you go. Okay, and then we just work into that for the last stitch. <sighs> Doesn't want a hook. Okay, and then chain two to turn. And now I do the opposite again. 
okay, I think that's so cool. All right, so normal crochet. I'm gonna have to make this the last little row before I say goodbye. So now we've worked two rows of back post at the start, so we're gonna do two rows of front post. So from the front, push that in, come in back behind. Again, if you wanted a bigger basket weave, so if you're making a blanket, you might wanna make it wider. So if you did five, you're doing multiples of 10 and then add the end stitch in your churning chain. Um, and you could do three rows whatever looks and feels right for the yarn you're using and the size work you want to do how big or small a basket weave you want okay and then this one would be back post because I think you probably get the idea of it now so if you've got any questions you can always comment later and if you're watching this outside of my Facebook group then feel free to come and join we're at um, honoring ME crochet and this is the help and ideas group so you can see it live you get input into which stitches I demonstrate so let's go in front post I love to have you there the more the merrier Okay. You can also sign up for my newsletter. Um, it's where you'll get access to my patterns, all the blogs that I've done. I do a blog post every week, so you can see that. And I usually have a giveaway or a coupon in my newsletter as well. So just head to my Facebook page or my store. Love to have you join me. Yep. Okay, get my thing away from the camera. Back. Right, and hopefully next week I make it back on a Friday night and don't have any of the dramas that have been going on. I love it, keeps life interesting. So there you go, there's the back and front post and I've turned it into the basket weave. So I hope you all enjoy the rest of your weekend and I will see you next week. Bye for now.